paint using stencil projection. So we can load an image that we can use as a stencil. So on stencil, we would hold this cardboard cutout type thing and would take a spray can and would spray through that stencil. We're going to do the same here. We're going to come down to our paint tool tray. We're going to go to projection. Projection is meant to be used with a stencil. So I click on the stencil tab. I pick on a particular stencil. I'm going to pick on this grass pattern. Now, the stencil shows up in the center of our 3D view. We can move, rotate, and scale our stencils. So I can move the stencil by pressing the S button and my middle button down, and I can move my stencil. I can rotate it by holding the S button down, or S for stencil, if you, if you will. And I can uh, scale it by pressing the S button down and holding my right button down and moving my mouse back and forth. I'm going to scale it down, down to here. And now I have my stencil chosen. Now I have, you can see where my brush is, and I'm just going to brush right over the top. I have to have a layer, so as soon as I click, and I do not have a layer yet, and I don't, it'll create a layer. I'll say OK. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to brush right over it. The stencil disappears. I'm going to brush right over it. I'm going to come back. I'm going to brush right over that. All right. So it's all filled in. And then when I am done, I'm going to go to the stencil and turn it off. You can see that it, that grass pattern was sprayed onto it or projected onto it. As I move my model, rotate it in 3D view, you can see that grass is uh, painted on there. You can see that it's grass, a uh, little grass looking as I zoom in on it. So we can use, we can paint using stencil projection uh, tools. And so we have to be in the projection uh, paint mode to do this operation.